So, uh, I was just at home playing the video games when my ghost dog bit my games machine or something and it zapped me into the video game world. And now I'm stuck, going from game to game trying to complete them or whatever until I finally find my way back home. This video is sponsored by a half-eaten sandwich. Please stay tuned to the end of the video for more details. Turns out I've leapt into some green super soldier called the Master Chief, who's good at killing the aliens. It starts off with me being awoken from hypersleep, and I show there's no ill effects of the thawing process by jumping on my colleague's head and flashing my torch constantly in his face. Turns out we've been on the run from aliens, but they've caught up with us and all hell breaks loose when they board the ship and start shooting up my colleagues. Now I can't be allowing the aliens to be doing that, so I meet up with Captain Keys, and he's in agreement that the aliens can't be doing that. And he gives me a handgun with no ammo in it, which is really useful. I'm so angry I could shoot him, but I don't because I don't have any ammo. I shouldn't say it's fun to watch my human companions being blown up and flung about, but it is kind of exciting to be honest. Now, I am the Master Chief, and so I'm an expert at killing the aliens, and I can totally handle this on my own. But the Marines are not handling it so well, and there's peeps dying all over the place, so I'm told to get the heck out of there. I manage to get to an escape pod, and I throw this Marine on like he's hand luggage. Some of the Marines are scared, telling me how they don't want to die and stuff. And as the Master Chief, I want to show my compassionate side by putting a nice, reassuring hand on their shoulder to let them know everything's going to be alright. No, turns out it's not going to be alright. They're all dead. Come to think of it, that means the Master Chief throwing the Marine on the escape pod was actually him sending the Marine to his death. So having crash landed on this ring, I realise how pretty it is, but I don't get too much time to appreciate it as all the aliens want to kill me. Too bad I'm better at killing them as I go around saving all the Marines. And occasionally killing the Marines when they get in my way. I managed to rescue, well, most of the Marines, and then I'm tasked with having to rescue Captain Keys. Always the same, isn't it? Your keys are never where you seem to have left them. I decide to go with the Marines, all stealthy at night, with a sniper rifle, but I soon mess that up and eventually have to loudly shoot my way through the aliens to board their ship. I board the Covenant ship and I let loose on everyone there, showing them that the Master Chief is not to be messed with, and despite being an alien killing legend, I can't seem to navigate my way around very well. Everything seems to look the same. The aliens try to further demoralise me by killing my marine companions, but they seemingly underestimate how expendable the marines are to me. I managed to rescue Captain Keys though, who has a handy name tag in case you forget who he is. I work with the marines to rescue Keys and get him out of there, eventually. And it turns out the marines are quite competitive. I hey mate, that was mine! You stole my kill! Keys comes up with the idea of escaping in a Covenant dropship, and we do after he accidentally crashes the ship into some hunter aliens, or at least that's what he told the insurance company. After all that excitement, we get to do a beach landing. It's a bit like the famous one in World War II, except it's science fiction and on a ring world with aliens. Still, it's an epic battle as I storm towards the aliens with my fellow marines. Showing the aliens that we mean the, the business, and whilst we've just discovered this Halo, it's, it's our Halo now. And in fact, it's so popular, even Beyonce has sung a song about it. After the epic battle, I wonder for a short moment what it would be like if Master Chief just went insane and started attacking the Marines and throwing grenades at them, or driving them into the sea. And then I realised that wouldn't be very nice, and... I just get back to the task at hand, looking for something called the Silent Cartographer. I start to have a lot of fun with the Marines, going around the island, taking on groups of the, the aliens, and causing chaos, and getting ourselves killed. We make our way into a building and try to force the Warthog inside, which fits perfectly. We continue to go around having fun, killing all the aliens, and then I find some dead Marines. And I can only blame these big boys, but despite their size, they're no match for my Magnum. I managed to shut down the security system, make my way back whilst killing all other aliens including these sneaky invisible boys, and then I find some dead marines and an upside down warthog. So I use that unused warthog to get myself to another warthog, and then I spend time fitting that warthog where a warthog just ain't meant to fit, and this time it gets proper stuck. 
I say hi to a few other aliens and kill as many as I can whilst I eventually find the map I've been looking for. Then I get lost, until I get unlost and make my way out. But it seems like the warthog just won't budge, so I say bye to the marines and I leave them there forever. I manage to fight my way out despite the aliens and the invisible aliens best attempts. I get on the pelican and I get out of there, all whilst thinking about the friends I've left behind. I start to make my way to Halo's control room, by shooting all the aliens that stand in my way of course. Which is a lot, but then again, they started it. I was nicely asleep until they started causing problems. And to prove a point, I wake some of the sleeping grunts up by killing them. And then this alien manages to show his skills with a sword. I decide I won't let him get lucky again, but he does manage to get lucky again. Eventually though, I get to this really cool snowy outdoor area. And I see a bunch of marines and decide to join the fight and help them out. I steal an alien's cool flying vehicle thingy and start mocking them by shooting them up with it. I think I'm pretty cool until I go to pick up some ammo and then one of the marines steals it from me. To make it worse, as I'm doing my Master Chief thing, killing all the aliens, he goes and kills me. Still, I have a lot of fun with the marines and we continue to kill any aliens that we come across as we find our way to a tank with my name on it. Although not properly knowing the controls of the tank, I accidentally blow up some of the marines and they show how unappreciated they are by killing me back. When I eventually work out the controls though, I use the tank to destroy everything in my path until I accidentally go off the path and then get myself and my fellow colleagues killed. But after taking the tank as far as it can go and blowing up all I can, I aim to remind the aliens of how deadly I am outside of the tank too, as they also remind me of how vulnerable I am without it. Still, the marines and I remind the aliens that we're not to be messed with, no matter what fancy vehicles they're trying to stop us with. And so I manage to steal one of their floaty vehicles and I take it to where it's probably not supposed to go and the aliens probably don't appreciate the mass deaths it caused, but I enjoyed it. I continue to shoot my way past any alien I see and as I finally get to the Halo Control Center, when I get there, Cortana goes a bit cryptic and weird and just tells me to get the heck out of there and to get to Captain Keys as soon as possible but she doesn't really tell me why which of course is really helpful. But I'm back now looking for Captain Keys. Most people find keys down the back of the sofa or something like that but here I am in an eerie swamp with quite a spooky atmosphere instead. But I start to get a bit suspicious as something doesn't seem right. It might be the alien blood goo and dead bodies around but I'm just not sure yet. Then I meet this guy who starts shouting at me, and then he starts shooting at me. He's saying stuff that perhaps I maybe would take more seriously if he wasn't shooting at me. After the fourth or fifth shot, it starts to get to me a bit, so in a rage, I shoot him dead. I feel a bit guilty afterwards and realise I don't want to get in trouble, so I decide I'll just blame it on the aliens or something and run off. I continue along and I start to notice dead marines, ones which actually aren't my fault. I watch this really cool recording by one of the marines and it turns out there's some new type of zombie alien things who are even more of a threat to the entire universe. I mean, Cortana could have probably told me this rather than making me go through this long winded way to find out, but you know, that's dramatic tension I guess. Now I've got to find a way to escape the new aliens, which I could have been more prepared for if Cortana just told me about them. It seems like they're everywhere and some of them even try to use guns to kill me. So now I've got two sets of aliens trying to kill me, and sometimes the marines when I upset them. I struggle to find a way out, but then I eventually do find the way out, and I stumble across some marines, who also struggled to find a way out, it seems, with all these locations looking remarkably similar. We make our way through the swamp and aliens are everywhere. Some of them even attach themselves to my colleagues. I'm scared of shooting them off just in case I accidentally kill the marines. So I just let the aliens kill the marines and then shoot the aliens after. The marines still die but I didn't kill them directly so I don't feel as guilty. We then meet this little robot thingy, he calls himself 343 Guilty Spark or something, which is probably robot speak for little robot thing. He then tells me that these aliens are called the Flood, before he teleports me away to somewhere called the Library. I follow Guilty Spark whilst he says all this exposition stuff to me, and proceeds to give me a biological overview of how the Flood work, but I'm too busy being shot at and 
killed to take too much notice. But I think he said that they mutate the DNA of their hosts and basically become murderous zombie monster alien things. That seemed accurate. I do get some help from these sentinel robots, but they only seem to help when they feel like it. I find out that the guilty spark is all about eliminating the flood threat which is good news to me. Eventually, we manage to retrieve the Index, which is apparently what we've been looking for, which can be used to destroy the Flood. After being transported again, Cortana finally decides to turn up with exposition and explains how not only will activating Halo wipe out the Flood, but it will actually wipe out all life in the known universe. Purple AI and little robot thingy argue for a bit, but after mulling it over, I agree with Cortana that destroying all sentient life might be just a, a bit much and so decide to betray Guilty Spark. Cortana and I hatch a plan to destroy Halo. So now I've got Guilty Spark and his Sentinels after me too. Cortana lets me know that if we destroy three generators, it won't actually be possible to activate Halo until they're fixed. The first one I managed to destroy really easy, easy peasy. The other two, well, they take a bit more effort. The second one requires a lot of visiting familiar places too. Still, I get to shoot aliens, and in fact, now I'm in a situation where I'm shooting aliens who are shooting other aliens and everyone wants to kill me too. So what I usually try to do is sneak my way past whilst occasionally shooting or throwing a grenade to remind them that I'm there. And occasionally they remind me that they're there by blowing me up with rockets. By now all hell is breaking loose and I manage to blast my way, sneak my way or drive my way past all the chaos. I get to the second generator and boom, one final generator to get to then find keys again and blow up our spaceship, destroy Halo and save the world. Easy. But it's not easy because the war between the original aliens and the new flood aliens is heating up, as it seems like every other new flood alien has a rocket launcher. Still, I managed to get to and destroy the last generator. Then luckily Cortana has found a magic way to teleport me, but it only works once apparently. Now it's time to find Captain Keys again. We get a lock on Keys, which sounds like a joke, but it isn't. Apparently he's in the alien ship, but when we get there, there's a weak signal from Captain Keys, who seems to say to leave him or something. But he must forget, I'm the Master Chief. I'm the one who does all the killing of the aliens and being a hero, and it's what I'm good at. Not even death will stop me. I kill everything in my path to get to Keys, but it turns out that all the killing on the way to him was pointless because he's already dead. Still, I smash you my fist through his skull to get his neuro thingy jig so we can blow up the spaceship, destroy Halo and save the, the worlds. I fight my way out of there as the war between the original aliens and this new flood aliens continues. They fight each other, they fight me, and they fight over who should fight me. I manage to steal one of the alien flying vehicles and I'm off to fly to our spaceship. After doing some computery stuff to start the detonation process, the little robot thingy turns up and he stops the self-destruction sequence, so now we need to do more stuff to allow the explosions to happen. Thanks to my handy rocket launcher, I am able to blow up the stuff that is needed to make the Halo ring go boom, so that Halo can become Halo more. I managed to grab a warthog and speed past all the aliens who are freaking out. It's really exciting as I ride to my rendezvous point which is great until my ride out of there is compromised. So I have to get to another exit to get to another ship so I can get myself away. I continue to drive as fast as this little warthog will go as things continue to explode around me and I think, wow, how cool does this look? I finally manage to get to the ship, but not before firing my rocket launcher one more time just for the heck of it. Eventually, everything is destroyed, which also means any of the marines and humans left there as well. I mean, I could feel guilty about it, but I don't. And instead, I say a cool line about how things are just getting just started. started. And on that note, I leap to someone else. Wonder where I'm going next? Oh boy. A half-eaten sandwich is a great way to suppress your appetite. Not only is a half-eaten sandwich cheaper than a regular sandwich, but it also saves on waste packaging and it's only half the calories. I used to walk around going from bin to bin, but even I can afford a half-eaten sandwich. So don't delay, pick up your half-eaten sandwich today. What the hell are you doing? Security to the bridge, the Master Chief has gone rampant. Take him down, boys. 